Hey, hey guys, it's Avita from Avita's Light. Please don't forget my information is in the description box if you guys would like a personal reading. Um, yes, I do those. Okay. Um, if you guys just have questions, uh, if you guys um, have the means or would like to donate, okay, uh, Cash App, uh, Cash App, PayPal, and Venom. Also, um, there is, you know, super things and all that. That takes a little longer, but it doesn't matter, okay? It is what it is. It's all a blessing. Um, your likes, your love, your comments. But also in the description box, um, you guys can get my email to send me um, your story. I did have a couple sent to me that were um, recorded like I had asked. And um, I definitely am so ready to start this. But again, you guys know that my health um, comes first. And so as soon as this is situated, I will be starting it. I was going to kind of do like a Saturday night live with it. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. I, I just, I'm so excited about the things that I, I'm, I have planned. Um, and, and the goal, like I told you, I have, I have a bunch of things I need to get done. But I have set like one out of all of those as my main goal and took baby steps to get there. And let me tell you, this is something that's been a long time coming and probably within the next week, it'll be done and I can go to the next and it's just everything. It starts that domino effect. And, um, I'm just so like, I'm just so grateful. And I share these things with you guys, uh, that I do so that if you guys um, want to try it yourself, of course, you guys can hack it a little, move it around, try to make it work for you. Um, but it works, right? And it works if you work it. So I hope you guys are motivated today and you guys did something, um, you know, did something special for yourself um, or even for somebody else, right? Balance it up. All right, guys. So the energy has been very awkward, has been very weird. And... Um, I'm feeling it too. Uh, you, you know, it's at first not feeling good and 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 trying to figure out, okay, wait a second, what's going on with this energy? It, it was a little difficult for me to um, pinpoint what was going on. But between the spiritual warfare and um, the fact that we're growing, especially as a collective, a lot of people are starting to realize that source is within them, within their heart, their soul. And a lot of times that people think, oh man, bad luck follows me everywhere. And, um, you know, I just, I'm just cursed. And, um, you know, it's, and, and all these other things that are said or that are felt. And, and believe me, I was one to say so too. But, when I found out um, that the relationships that I had in my life, the reason for them, um, the things that happened to me in those relationships, um, I used to think, man, um, what am I doing? Like what? I said, bad luck, man. Bad luck follows me. I just don't understand. I was one to say that. And then I found out, no. I have to heal. I have to heal from the things that had I had seen that I've been through since I was a child that I threw under the carpet and let just pile up to the point where they just started coming out to the point they were affecting me and I, I was um, not healed. And so here I am like pulling these uh mirroring these people into my life and it's not like no I, I'm not I don't act like that I don't act abusive or any of that but it's and that's people that's where people misunderstand because people will be like wait a second but I wasn't the one that I'm not the one that's abusive that that's you know hitting them or controlling them or or you know emotionally physically however it went but um being in the situation and allowing it to happen and not getting out of it sooner. Um, there's a lot of things, but that is what 
the part that you need to heal and that's what mirrors it and and brings that to you and so that's why there's a lot of heal healing involved and this is this has been really honestly the longest i've been alone and um you know when you learn how to have fun by yourself and to enjoy it and not worry so much about having to have somebody next to you that's when you know you took your power back that's when you know you're ready for a relationship yes there's going to be times we're going to get lonely there's going to be times that where you're going to be like man i wish i had somebody here with me and that's when you know um you should have somebody to talk to you should have soul tribe you should have you know meditation your guides um, other ways to, to do that until you do have somebody in your life. But if you th overthink it and overthink like, I need somebody right now, I can't stand being alone, and, and, you, and that's all you think about, then sometimes that, that's, not, that's going to end up the opposite. You have to manifest the fact that you're happy, that you're, you're okay, and that when it happens, it happens, right? Um, I, I had to come to this realization myself. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't see somebody and, and have a feeling for somebody or flirt or even, you know, tell somebody how you feel or um, want to have a relationship, okay? I'm just saying just like the low vibrational things going on with the low vibrational people, if we over think about that and let that take over our thoughts then we um can bring our vibration down and we start to pull that into our life so then we start thinking again oh wow like i'm telling you i got i'm cursed or there's something bad following me and you know sometimes there can be and and sometimes yes people are doing their spell work and they're putting negative energy on you but the the time that it will really affect you is when you're in a low vibration um, curses, yes, you know, a lot of us have breaking, broken these generational curses. It could have been that it started with your family being in these kind of relationships or being in situations like this or having people take advantage of them, right? Um, somehow, some way there was some kind of curse and it, it was like a cycle and it seemed to go from somebody in your family, right? Could have been your parents, um, most likely, and or grandparents, and then it, it went down the line, right? Because that's what we seen as a child. Then you got those couple of children, sometimes one out of, you know, say the three or um, whatsoever that happened to say, you know what, I am not going to be in a relationship like that. I am not going to treat my child like that. I am not going to let my significant other treat me like that or my friends. And they don't, they don't, they're so strong that they don't let them treat them like that. And they break it. Like they have so much power and they break it because they already have that instilled in them that they are not going to deal with that or be put in a situation like that. And, um, this is something I wish that I instilled in my children because I know, like, I remember the first time I seen my daughter go through um, a, a relationship breakup. Oh, my gosh. Like, she was screamed bloody murder. And I could hear her um, from my room. I'm running out, like, what's going on? Are you okay? And it was, she was, you know, going through a breakup. And it, and it hurt. And I can understand because, you know, she, there, you know, sometimes it's either there's a balance or sometimes one person has more of the power than the other. So they know that they can come and go as pleased. They know that they can control the relationship. They know that they can, um, you know, like I said, uh, they decide that they want to temporarily break up because they want to go see somebody else and not consider it uh, cheating. <laughs> or they want to go through your stuff and, and read your journals and, and, and miss misunderstand things that you write that are personal that are not something that are they're supposed to be even looking at in the first place um there could be many things like that um 
and, and, and they try to make you feel a certain way that way you won't want to be with anyone else and that you'll feel like no one else will want you and that that will make it even harder for you you know to go out and be in a relationship with anybody else so then you'll wait for them um or you just you know um fall into a depression and um you know and it goes from there and then they'll tell other people well look you know this person do you see that do you see how they're acting like they're crazy or they're so obsessed with me and they can't even live their life without me when really they were living off of your power they were living off of your energy and they took it so there finally came a time that some of us realized what was going on and we had to um snap back into reality right back to reality the ghost gravity right we had to realize that we had to call our power back that it's very important it's very important and that is part of your journey is to take your power back and to do the right things with it right to strengthen it to get strong boundaries to have goals to love yourself to let go of certain beliefs that were instilled in you as a child and, 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 you know, through your lifetime, through family and through relationships and through even sometimes bosses, right? And get rid of those, get rid of those things, right? And sometimes people will, will run at that point in time to um, a religious church, like a religious group, um, sometimes that's actually what some of these relationships these people do they they put them in a certain state of mind and they try to draw them into um a church or a family group of some sort and um then when something happens um guess where they run to you know or to be with this person they have to be part of this group so they feel like okay now i gotta do this and the group has used is a kind of a religion as a backup to be able to protect their self from being sued or being really looked into so much you know just like the thing i, I shared on my community board um there's different ways that these people do these things and that's why like sometimes it's hard, you know, especially when you, you do want to find a church and you do want to be part of a, um, a loving community like that. And that's why I always tell you guys, like, you have the church in you. You don't have to go to a church to, um, you know, to find that. Now, it's not saying that if you, you know, want to go to a church that don't because there are there there are good churches but remember there's so many of them i know in my community alone I, I can't even count and some of them are about getting you um connected with them and then having you believe certain things and and taking money and wanting money and and in control okay others are about helping others are about um sharing and 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 doing things together and and like I said as a community and that that is good but if you see you go to one and you notice that they're controlling and that it just seems cult like and they they, they instead of it being more of like praying and, and and dancing with happiness and singing with joy they're chanting certain things at certain times and they're 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 doing things more as a as a, like a ritualistic like thing then no, I don't, I don't feel that that's a good way to go. Um, so again, that's my opinion and that's your choice. But when it comes to something happened to you, it's happening to you and you being a part of one of those places or programs, they can be backed up by the um, law that protects them um, in the United States with religious, because um, with religion alone because um religion cults etc are protected 
um, they, they say there's nothing wrong with being a part of any of that. And, um, you know, I just want to put that out there. I know that when I went through my awakening, I, I didn't know who to go to. I didn't know where to go, what to do, because I cut everybody off. I, um, I was scared. I was nervous. I was finding out that there was a lot of, um, deceit, a lot of lies. Um, I didn't know what to believe and on some, on some point, you know, on some things. Um, I had so many questions and it's like, where do you start? And then you start digging and finding certain things and then you got more questions. And, um, like I said, I think what helped me the most was YouTube when I found, um, the tarot channel and messages and guidance. And, um, I just, not only that though, like, uh, Reiki, uh, healing frequencies, uh, everything. I was just learning left and right, but I did go to a church, um, actually two of them. One, the guy was very nice, but his, his, the people that were helping him that were outside giving papers away and stuff like that, cause they were, they were all older, but they were like looking at me like I was like the devil, like because of my tattoos on my arms and, um, they were just very rude. Um, but he, the one gentleman was very nice and was like, if you want to come back, we got Bible study. And I was like, thank you. You know, cause it was just the fact that he was being very nice about it and it wasn't being judgmental like the other ones are. And that's the thing. If they're going to judge you like that and make it feel like, you know, what are you doing here? Then how is that a church to begin with? right? Or if they, as soon as you come in, all right, now you need to repent, you know, no. Or if you, hey, you need to go in that, um, go in there right there and, and talk to the priest and tell him your sins. No. Okay. I don't believe that. Um, you need to donate. No. Okay. Look at the signs, see the signs. Um, and the other thing I went to the other place and, um, it was hard. It was like, I, I had to keep asking people like who, who is the, um, like, who's the one that's doing the, the talking here? Who, who, who do I talk to? It took me a while. Like they were passing me around, like go to this person, go to that person. And finally, um, the only people that were really nice to me was the band. Um, and I finally found, um, the pastures and it, it was actually two of them. One was very, very nice. The other one was very demanding and judgmental and um i noticed that it was like my light i could tell like they knew something was different about me and um they were like okay well we're gonna pray over you and um as soon as they both put their hand on my back um the one i seen it i seen it in his eyes he knew he felt the presence he felt the presence of the Most High. I felt the presence of the Most High there. Like, telling them, like, it was kind of almost like me being there for them, which was kind of odd. It was really, really odd. Like, I really felt like I was there for them, even though I went there for myself. Um, I think maybe that was also the message for me, too. Um, you know, for some of these pastors and, and preachers and you know that maybe they they need they need a reawakening like they've they've maybe went too far with something or they need to snap out of that like um whatever it is that they're in at that minute you know at that point but um the other one um felt like I felt like he was angry, upset, kind of like, who is this person and why, how is it that they have this light, this energy? And, you know, when we're like, we do what we do, like, how is it? Like, I, I just seen these questions, but it was, it was like, I felt judgment and I felt anger and I felt confusion but I knew, like, with me, I told you guys, I had seen actually more than once, but one main time that I had seen 
I had seen source and source to me is the most high God. And I seen him in, um, somebody that I know. And when I seen him, it was like that they were still who they were, but it was like, I could see God's face on them and the voice that came through. And I wasn't guys, I wasn't high. I wasn't out of my mind. Um, and like I said, that he spoke to me. And so I felt when I was in that church and they were doing that, that this is what was going on, that, that they either felt the presence or not only just felt the presence, they seen his presence. Like he was using me to speak to them. And then, um, I don't know if I mentioned, I think I mentioned that I had gotten a message or something and they were like, Oh, the one that I'm talking about that, that was kind of judging and stuff. He was like, Oh, um, you had, how do you do this? How do you get your messages? Like, uh, you know, and, um, it was, it was like, um, are you, are you doing, are you using things that you shouldn't be using? Um, uh, just what was the, what was the word? Um, uh, what do you call it? I can't even think of it right now. Um, but you know how I use my tools. I use my cards and my runes and stuff like that. But, um, it was like right away, you know, and, and I almost thought he was going to ask me like about a Ouija board or something on um, the way he was talking. And I was like, uh, I have angel cards because at the time that I went there, I didn't have many cards. I think I only had my angel cards and, um, I think one set of tarot, but, um, I was like, I have my angel cards, you know, and I didn't see anything wrong with it. Cause I was like my angel cards. And he was like, well, the next time I see you, I want you to make sure that you burn them. And I'm like, okay. And then it was like that, then it was, you know, that's probably what your problem is. And, uh, you know, that's why you're going through this and you need to get rid of those, anything like that. Um, you know, y y have you asked for forgiveness? And it was just like, after that, I was like, I'm not coming back to this place. The other person though, I felt, I felt, I could feel his soul. I can't explain it. I could feel his soul. And I felt that he, he was pure. He may have had questions, but he was pure. And that he did look over at the other guy, the other pastor. Um, and you could see in his face, like, what are you doing? Why are you being like, like, I could see that he didn't like the way he was talking to me, but he couldn't say nothing. He wasn't going to say nothing in front of them, in front of him. But I felt, I felt really honestly, like there was a very much uh, a control power thing going on. And, um, you know, and of course, when they looked at me, they didn't see money. They didn't see I could fund or help them, um, because of the situation I was in. And, you know, I can only cover my tattoos so much, you know, <laughs> so it is what it is, but, um, yeah, that's what I was getting from all this. So this, this message is more, I guess, for people that have, or are going through something like this. Okay. Um, I know I came on here to give another message, but I, I let, I, I I'm guided. I let myself be guided. And sometimes when I do this, I end up erasing it and then going back and, and doing the message with the cards because um, it seems that a lot of people like it when I use the cards instead of just talking. But um, my guides are telling me I need to stop doing this. I need to stop erasing the messages that I get that I give you guys without using my cards because sometimes they're very important and that there's somebody that needs to hear it. And even if it's one person out of the um, 16,700 people, then I did my job. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm itchy. Energy is lifting up. Okay. 
something is um people really want to like work with you like there's something i don't know if, if it's something at work that you do or if you have a business here again you, you, there's something you might be good at it might just be sometimes people don't realize it it's the way that they can talk to people it's the way they communicate that they that other people can see that 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 they can actually have you um, do certain things for their business or they can work with you and you could be the one that can be the speaker um, or the one that can do the communicating or you're the one that could put things together because you're very good at that there's something like that is what I'm picking up here as long as it's not someone that's trying to um, you know use you for their benefit and you're not getting um, the recognition or anything out of it that's not good but I'm not getting that all right this is so there's there's been something that you've been trying to make a choice about like an indecision here a, a, a decision a choice okay You could be going through one of those moments right now that I was just speaking about. And even though, like, some people have already had their awakening and gone through this, that doesn't mean that it won't happen again, okay? That doesn't mean that you won't go through a moment like that again where you forget everything that happened the first time. You know, most of it. And then here you are like what do I do what do I do and then it's like you feel like bam you're starting over that if that happens it's because the most high um source universe uh there was something that they kept trying to show you uh, get you to pay attention to to do and you were ignoring it or you weren't getting the message or you weren't doing it and they don't want you stuck in this karmic cycle so they put you through um it again another one of these processes you're awakening and hoping hoping <laughs> hoping that this time they can get your attention the right way um and it happens okay I've, I've talked to a couple people that that's happened to and again that's why i feel it's very important you take notes you journal and stuff like that so if it does happen to you you can look back and be like okay what happened maybe this time if it happens again, you can do something different to fix the situation, right? Like say you keep moving, you keep moving and things keep, it, it, everything's the same. Every time you move, it, it, the situation either gets better or it gets worse, but it's like, and then it comes back. You're dealing with these people again, you're dealing with the gang stalking and it, and it just is so overwhelming that you, um, you go through a depression or you go through a, a fear and and then it's like trying to get yourself back on track is it's it's so hard and you don't know what to do and it's um it's like now what right and you, you panic and that and that's the thing though this is something that they want this is something they love to do they love to have you be in fear they love to have you be in panic remember i always say fear is an illusion okay sometimes or at least i would say some of it is there is times that things are they're real right but these people like to use smoke and mirrors they know if they can get you scared so even if like the first time it is real the second time they could just be using smoke and mirrors so you believe it's real and then you're making it real by believing it's real and then again and again and again and again and this is how they build it up and they make you uh live in fear right to where you you can't live your life and i i came to a point where when this was happening to me that i finally said f you um you could do what you're gonna do but you ain't gonna touch me and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So even though your purpose 
is to take down the collective or take me down, period. Um, my purpose is to be a light in the dark and to show people the way and that, you know, they're not alone. And so I kept getting the message that don't worry about them. Do what you have to do to um, survive, to focus. Um, at first, I, I thought, you know, hey, I, I know I'm owed money. I know things were taken from me. I'm just going to, you know, keep doing the next right thing. But I, I didn't even want to go back to work because of the gang stalking and everything that I, I just, it seemed like every time I'd put in an application, I'd go, I'd even get the interview most of the time. And it was like, almost like it was already, yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's going to happen. And then bam, it didn't happen. I wouldn't get the call back. I wouldn't get the job. And this is something else they do. It's a manipulation thing. And they do that to the point where you give up and you stop looking for jobs because every time you do, it's just not working out or you keep looking, but you're not in that fr time, that mind frame that you're going to get it. So even when you go for the interview, you're just in that like blah state, you know, state that you're just, you're not putting that smile, that effort, that light out that they want to see that they need to see. And, um, this is, they, they do these things, right? And, um, because of the things that happened to me, uh, I finally got the message, like, and I didn't give up. I kept looking for a job, but start giving your story on YouTube. Start there. So I did. And so while I was still looking for a job and doing my thing, I started doing my videos and I was getting the message like, you're not supposed to have, and I used to have a business, but I, I, I there's a lot of reasons that it, I let it go. But, um, um, and it was, I was doing really good actually, but I could always tell that I would be good. I would be a good boss. I would be a good business owner, but I had family that thought that well, if I couldn't do it and I didn't have it, how can you? I mean, if your own father says that to you, how would that make you feel? So yeah, it, it made it hard for me, but I finally got to the point where this time around, I was, I, I kept getting the download, like, this is you, you can be your own boss. You're controlling your channel. You control your videos. You control what, you know, when you work and everything else. And while you're doing this, get yourself together and, and everything just started working out. Step by step, I started doing it. And, and no matter the fact that I would put my videos out and it would be one view, uh, you know, for months, like one or two or three, you know, um, I didn't care. I didn't care. I knew eventually that my videos were going to get out there and I didn't care that I heard that they were spending money to make sure that my videos took a while to even be seen. I kept going. And even though it's not much money, it still was enough for me to put a little bit away and to get my cards I needed and to be able to get my own things. So, um, I still am looking for something on the side to do. But a lot of the jobs that I've been offered, I do need a car. So right now, um, I still put things in for whatever I can, but it's a small town I live in. And, it, you know, if you don't have a car, you have to rely on um, either a bike or um, somebody to, to drive you. And um, so that's kind of what put me um, basically at the goal of needing the car first. And then I knew from there I can, I can move forward and that I've always felt free when I had a car always. So somebody is, is, is doing what they can here so that you won't focus on these things that you keep getting distracted. Okay. And remember if this isn't you let, let it go. It's not your message. Okay. But I'm getting that you're like, you're very strong. You're very, 
you can be very independent and you're very good with helping other people you're good with resources but it seems like when it comes to needing to do things for yourself or help yourself in a situation you're needing to ask other people or wanting to you feel a little confused it's harder for you to get the answers for yourself than it is for you to get the answers for somebody else um that's why i will record my videos and then i rewatch them because i know that the mess there's a message in there for me too so um it's it or i'll do like a, a recording of myself doing my read for me because i'm saying it out loud and i know it, it's going to be easier that way than saying it in my mind um but this has made you like kind of go blank because uh you're trying to like just make a decision here there's a choice and i feel like there is a little bit of fear okay i feel like there may be a neighbor messing with you or it could be a landlord okay um or maybe a boss but there's somebody that's definitely close by or in the community and and i'm picking up like heavy heavy on the um eyes on the hacking and watching you but that's because they they want to know what you're doing and when you're doing it so that they could do the next step, their next trip, their next thing to uh, upset you or to make you feel like this is going to be like a never ending thing. And let me tell you, it's going to get better. Okay. I always do say yes. I mean, the higher the levels, the more devils. I'm not saying that it, something may not come back later on or happen again. Okay. But it will be easier when it does. You'll be ready for anything that happens. But you just have to get through this situation to your next chapter, to your next phase, um, to the next level. And um, don't let these people hold you back from making it to that next step. I feel like you guys are finally starting to walk in your shoes. Like you feel tall, you feel grown, you feel, you feel your independence. And then it's like you feel like everything's going good. And then, bam, something will happen. Or, you know, even if it's the smallest thing. And then it's like, man. And then and it kind of, like, really gets to you a little bit and gets in your head. And then um, it, it feels like, again, it, you're trying to pick yourself back up. Um, you know, I like I said, I had to get to a point where I, I finally had to be like, you know what? Do what you're going to do. Sometimes it does bother me because um, they can do things, you know, with, with your technology, with your emails, with your personal things, with your, with people you know, um, when it, and especially when it comes to the government with your um, social security card, your birth certificate. I finally got uh, another social security card, but my birth certificate I've been having so many problems getting a copy of my birth certificate, okay? I don't know why. Um, just, you know, things when it comes to, my father says, bureaucracies, the government, okay? When it comes to things like that, you got these people have their little ways between hacking and um, knowing people within the system, the Masons, um, the Illuminati, um, and other people, okay? They, they're able to make their connects and um, really mess with that. So that's why when it comes to getting a job, doing things online, your emails, your um, things that have to do with your identity um, and your accounts, you know, it, it's, it gets a little frustrating. But that's why, you know, we always just make sure that we know that this may happen, but just um, believe that you're going to keep going no matter what. Have strong boundaries and um, make sure to put your, um, get a VPN if you have to, you know, get a new phone, get a new phone number. Um, you know, when, especially then you get the VPN, uh, your Wi Fi, right? Make sure nobody else has the Wi Fi information. They don't have the main um, name for it and the password because you know how you have like a name set up with it not your name but i'm saying after that there's like a name you set up with it that no one has that and that you change that sometimes and the password and um that you have like security on your phone 
that you make sure that none of the apps on your phone look duplicated or that there's a double app like that, that you start researching these kind of things that are happening to you so that you know how to avoid them, how, how to make boundaries around them and how to survive through it. Right. Um, that's why like, you know, I started to study things like that. I used to be very good with technology, but, um, I, I kind of like fell from that when technology started growing and growing and growing. And, um, I just, it, it was, it started getting a little too complicated, especially when they added AI. And that's another thing with AI. I don't like that because, you know, they have their ways of getting into things. And, um, so that's why I say though, to be ready, have, a, have a plan, have a, a, a way to back this stuff up and don't save your passwords on your phone. Have a little book that you can like, uh, they have the ones that are like invisible ink you can use that you can see it with certain things, or you have the lock ones that you can lock. There's different ways uh, that you, you can save your passwords and another form that you don't have to save them on your computers or on your phones, even though it is easier. Um, and then try not to have the same one and try not to use your animal's name as your password. <laughs> Just saying, um, emails, right? Every once in a while, maybe even though we get so used to our emails, have it so you can download everything that's on your email. So you have all the, everyone, you're, everything you're connected to change your email and then right swap it over but you do know that of course whatever companies that you have your email set with you're going to have to do that so maybe you can have two sets of emails you can have a personal email and you can have one for your bills and your business um i used to have three things set up a personal one one for my uh, bills and everything like that and then um one for my my business and it worked out that way but you know these are all just things that I'm hoping will help you guys, but it says here that you may come to a, did I get the crossroads? Wow. I didn't even get the crossroads this time. So, um, you may be approached with a, an offer, an opportunity that it's like you, you, you may not want to resist this offer. It's, it's going to be tempting. Um, I'm not getting it as a bad one, but there's going to be a lot to go into it. You're going to have to really look into it, research it see if it's something that you're ready to do and that you're, um, you're ready to put your all into it. Okay. Whatever it is, uh, because it, it, it seems like a good investment here. Okay. Maybe it's a friend or, or something or somebody that you're going to meet or have met that just seems to like your vibe and that thinks that you're, you're going to be good to work with and may offer you something here and you guys could end up working together. Okay. I'm not talking like, uh, your divine like partner I'm talking about like work wise okay um like a community of people um and and the temple like the temple your your team is here for you they want you to know that if you need them go to that place that you feel safe even if it's not if there's somewhere you've been thinking about a lot that you used to go to go there but like wherever you feel like is your sanctuary and um, here, these lights are your loved ones, your guides, and they're saying that the light's always on. You can always come and talk to them, okay? They're always there for you. You sometimes may feel blocked, like you can't hear them, but it's okay because they hear you, and they will give you a sign, okay? And also, um, to let you know that you have to put yourself somehow in a positive mindset, like a positive vibration in order to hear them better. I know that when I'm like really, really happy, I can, I can hear them so good and I could actually feel them like, um, you know, their hands on my back and stuff. So you just have to have that vibration in order to connect, especially with your loved ones. If you're in a lower vibration, they can't connect with you because you're just, you're too low. Remember how I said the eagles always fly higher than the other birds and the crows and all the other things? So when somebody's in a lower vibration, it's harder for you to connect with them. Not that you can't get your downloads, but you're not getting them like you can. You're not being able to communicate the way you can when you, when you meditate. And that's the next thing, meditation. 
Some people, I know it's hard for you, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. Five minutes a day. That's it. Try it. Five minutes a day. Then go up to 10 or 15 minutes. The, the more you do it, the easier it gets and the more communication you're going to get about your future. But I feel that you have a very beautiful future. And um, no matter what it looks like around you, you're going to be successful. And that's the next card. Success. Okay. And as you see, like you think outside of the box, you use your imagination and things are going to be illuminated. The more successful you are, the more that you keep climbing up the ladder and not worrying about the people behind you trying to climb up behind you or trying to take the ladder from you, you're going to keep rising. And this is going to put light on them. And so as they're trying to climb or take your ladder, they're going to get caught. So let me tell you. You need to show appreciation, okay, and gratitude, which I feel you do. Um, and maybe start making a gratitude list. Um, and just look at the things you have. Make a list of the things you have and be like, I do have this. I have this. You can breathe, right? You can see, right? You can hear, right? You uh, woke up today, right? Yeah. Even if you're not feeling that great, it's okay. Because you are you still got blessed today. You still woke up today. Right? And, um, again, when you start concentrating on the things that you do have and, and say thank you for these blessings, thank you. Thank you for all of my blessings and, and all, of my th all the things that I've asked for. And then you'll notice the things will start coming into your life. And then I'm hoping that you're already started on your second or third manifestation or your you know grad or your list of things that you want is what I was going to say um because I know when I look back at my board now that I made um pretty much everything that I've been manifesting is like almost just right here so I, sh I should already have my second board b being made so that's like my goal this week um is to make it I already have things that I know I want to put on them so that part's done, but just making the, the, the board. Um, I like to make those because it helps me focus. Um, and then finding like-minded people. Uh, remember, if you're in a lower vibration, it's going to be hard for you to manifest or to, not manifest, but to, um, to magnetize, pull those kind of people into your life. Because somebody that's way up here, they're most likely they're not going to want to communicate or talk to somebody that's way down here unless of course they're doing it out of kindness or they're doing it to help them or it's family or a friend um you know or maybe they're a counselor but other than that um most people want people that are in the same vibration or higher because that just helps your energy rise even more when you're around somebody that's in a lower vibration, sometimes they can be so depressed that they can be complaining about everything that's going on. And it's, there's one thing to talk about things going on, but sometimes someone can, can go on and, and it, it will be like everything. They're, com they're actually complaining everything that's going on. This is going on, that's going on. And it's like, you're listening to them and some of the stuff it's like, okay. And then, um, but what's going on is they, they're dumping their baggage on you and then when they walk away most likely they feel better because they they sort of just took they took your time so they took your energy and you gave them whatever um like you know whatever help guidance that you could and by doing so you connected a cord and so it's like you reverse the energy. So now you have all their energy on you. Um, man, I got to think of that movie I watched the other day so you guys could, I could tell you guys about it. But this girl, that's what she did. Somebody was depressed or sad or in fear. She would touch them and take it. And she could only handle so much before she got sick. And what would take it away is uh, water. She'd have to take a shower. And um, people that were very evil loved to come into her energy, loved to touch her. And um, it reminds me of, of the collective. So you guys, you know, like 
boundaries, right? But remember, if you if you're in a low vibration and you're trying to get around people that are like minded, that are in a higher vibration, then um, you need to focus on putting yourself in a higher vibration. That way, um, you can attract and magnetize those people into your life. Okay, but you you've opened the door to value, and like I said, your abundance is there. You just need to make sure that anything and everything that may be negative or um, from your past that you're ready to get rid of, maybe someone gave something to you that is is not, you know, you need to get rid of. Um, but I feel like there's either people, places, or things that need to get gone. That way your abundance can flow through. And the angel of love is working with you. Your um, crown chakra is lit and you have that book of knowledge they want you to really work with this and, and and keep learning and they want you to work right now i keep hearing your health health exercise diet very important fasting okay i'm saying this to myself too we need to fast okay it, it's hard but it's important if you want to elevate fast and see something fast the fastest way I've ever seen it happen is fasting just saying and you don't need to tell anybody when you're fasting okay unless they ask of course you can tell them but this is something that like even when you do something good for somebody and you're doing it because you just want to it's not about doing it and telling everybody you just did that for somebody right because it's that's not what it's about it's it's about helping somebody but doing it like um, anonymously, right? Um, maybe they might know, but that means like, it's okay. You don't have to tell everybody because the, the most important person is seeing what and who and everything, right? So it's kind of the same thing with fasting. Um, unless of course you have a group of people you're doing it with, right? Um, or you have questions about it. Other than that, I would say, uh, you know, try to do it yourself, but food okay if you have to take food with medication then have like uh, applesauce or yogurt some kind of something like that or a fruit that you can take with your medication other than that though water um, they say uh, I always I, I have a cup of coffee because it helps me feel a little full but that you know not saying that coffee is even good either because that's not really fasting but I've always did it with coffee um I just heard some people there is a trick with coffee that you can use for fasting I had seen once and that's why I did it but um the first day just water the second day if you need to eat okay they're saying like just vegetables and water um the second day you should be um, all fasting from people. So people should be the second one. And then the third day is, um, people and, um, technology. So, and again, you could eat, you know, vegetables, um, or a couple of fruits, but the first day, like nothing, and unless you have to eat something with your medication, um, if you can go the second day without anything, that's good. And then they said if you do eat, it's got to be like, I don't know if they said raw vegetables or something, like like pure vegetables. I don't remember how, how it was said, but you guys can make your own plan on how you do it. As long as somewhat you are fasting, at least the first day, you're not nothing, right? And um, I'm telling you, the, the first time I did that, I, I quit smoking the second day. I quit smoking. I quit drinking soda. I used to drink a 12 pack of soda, Coke, um, in, in like two or three days. I quit. Um, I, I would eat like crazy out of boredom. I stopped. I had totally went on a diet. I lost 50 pounds within, um, well, I think it was 43 actually, um, within two weeks or less 
because everything just changed after, you know, going through the awakening and fasting. And that's another way that you know that you went through a true awakening because your taste buds will change, your thought process will change, you, um, your diet will change, uh, everything. And you'll, you'll start questioning certain things and um, really want to come up with a plan and a purpose for your life. So, all right, guys. And then the last thing I want to say is this is going to bring up this is going to bring in many opportunities, many, many opportunities for you, okay? And I'm speaking to a divine feminine and or a divine masculine because I have a divine feminine and I have a divine masculine here. And I also have, what is it? Could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. I'm speaking to everybody, but I'm just saying that's another thing that was coming up here. And what was the other... Um, see it okay well it's a female and a male so divine masculine divine feminine and it's funny because I honestly feel like that there are there can be at least one couple that I've been talking to that that has been hearing my messages that you two are eventually going to meet whether you're in the same state country community whatever I don't know but I feel like I do have two people that have been listening to me that are each other's soulmates. And you guys don't know each other. Or maybe now, maybe you do. But as far as I know, I, I don't think you guys have met yet. But I feel like you guys are going to meet. How, I don't know. But I've been getting this. I've been getting here that <laughs> and this is going to be amazing to me. You two, you two somehow found my channel. And um, I don't know how, but you guys are going to find each other. Okay, so there's two of you guys, a male and a female. And that you guys are going to connect. And you guys are soulmates, okay? You guys are star seeds, and you're going to be very successful. You guys could even open up a business together or work together in some sort of way. When you guys get together, your energy is going to be so much stronger and so much more powerful. Your downloads are going to be coming in stronger and you guys are going to be able to not only help each other, but help other people. And things are just going to like left and right just start happening for you guys. And um, I feel like you guys are going to be each other's, um, not only like, I was going to say heroes, but you guys are going to be each other's like bodyguards. You're going to protect each other. There's going to be an equal give and take. And um, I feel that you guys, this is like, I could be talking to somebody that maybe at least one of you guys, if you had been asked, what did you really want? You would say, I just want somebody that loves me the way I love them that I can grow old with, right? Or even you have a family with. But the whole thing is like, this could be something that you've said or thought in your mind that could have been one of your um, wishes or something that you've said like or something that you've wanted okay um, I feel like I'm talking in circles but I feel like one of you guys could have at least said that and so this is something that you are going to get and I feel like it, that I think it's pretty cool that um, the fact that you guys are going to connect and that both of you guys do watch my videos. Um, I don't know, again, how it's going to happen, but it, it, it is going to happen. You know, unless something changes in the energy, this is going to happen. And, and I feel this could be happening soon, at least you guys meeting each other somehow, um, because of the fact that I'm getting this message. I've gotten it before, but I'm getting it very strong now. It's like stronger and stronger. And, um, so whatever this decision you have to make, or whatever this is, I feel like this also is going to put you, um, to the next phase, the next step, um, to moving forward. Okay. And to your abilities, you're very psychic. Okay. You're telepathic. You, um, one of you guys could be a tele, oh my gosh, I can't even say the word right. You guys can move things with your mind, okay? 
or you may not realize you can. Um, the other one is uh, has very good clear sensation, can find things, can sense things, um, can channel message, can channel messages, can channel in general, um, mediumship abilities, and um, you're just. I feel that there's a couple of things that just need um, some clearing from your chakras. Uh, that way you're able to use these things um, or figure out the abilities. Um, you need to explore them. But I, again, fasting may really help you with your chakras. And then after fasting, get into a healthier diet, um, healthier eating, and, and more fruits and vegetables, right? And um, again, trying to stay in a positive mind frame people, places, and things, right? And um, journaling, journaling, meditation, affirmations. I always say that. All right, guys. Peace, love, and light.